Okay? So it is important to understand all this, to have this information before we have any symptoms. And this does not only relate to breast cancer, because we know how to take it. Okay? And a woman can live with such an encapsulated tumor for the rest of her life. Women cannot die of breast cancer. What should a woman die of? The extra cells? No. They don't kill. Okay? It's the fear, it's the panic, it's other conflict shocks that are added that uh, involve uh, vital organs, uh, ducts can occlude, bile ducts with an anger conflict and so forth. Okay? All right, we go a little bit further. Because what happens, I go back for a second, if the healing phase becomes chronic. In other words, the woman has the DB bacteria, but the healing goes on and on and on and on. Of course, the tumor needs a certain time to be removed and decomposed, but this can take longer than it usually should. And the reason is the following. In order to understand why a condition, this in general, and of course of breast cancer particularly tonight, uh, we have to understand what we call in German New Medicine tracks. So conflict relapses, triggers, and tracks. Sounds like a, a good movie title. Okay, so what happens here? The moment we have such an unexpected conflict shock, our mind is highly alert. And highly alert, our mind picks up all the components that surround the conflict, like the location where the conflict takes place, the people involved, uh, sounds, anything that our mind associates or finds significant in association with this conflict situation. Right? And this, uh, doc we call in new medicine these components that come basically with the conflict shock, we call them tracks. Because we can say, like train tracks, we can say that the biological programs runs on tracks established at the moment of the DHS. So it runs on these tracks. But the biological purpose of the tracks is there's a reason for that. The biological purpose of the tracks is to be a warning signal, an alarm signal, saying last time you were at this location, last time you saw this person, last time you went by this hospital, last time you saw this type of car, you had a conflict, so, so watch out and stay away. So if a person is in the healing phase and all of a sudden sets on one of these tracks, the conflict relapses and, this is the, and, and is reactivated. And this is the conflict relapse that interrupts the healing phase and therefore also prolongs it. Right? And we call this situation, when a healing literally hangs here, we call this, uh, a, as I said, hanging healing situation. And this is the reason for uh, chronic conditions or reoccurring symptoms, including reoccurring cancers. So in the case of a glandular breast cancer that is in healing with all the pus and discharge and the decomposing process, every time the woman sets on a track because the worry conflict is reactivated or any other trigger, then this will go on and on and on. So it is important to be aware of what is happening here. In German new medicine, it is essential uh, to uh, identify these tracks so that the healing phase can be finally complete. So what we also have to realize, and this is significant, that any supportive treatment on the organ level can only be successful if we also uh, uh, heal or complete the healing process emotionally and psychologically. Because it is the psyche that is the driving component of the unit. So any treatment on the organ level can only be supportive to ease the pain, to slow down if you want an intensive healing process, but it is us, it is our mind, it is us, up to us and our uh, work, so to speak, to complete the healing parallel of course, also on the psychological level. Otherwise, it goes on and on and on. But the fact is, my friend, in regards to, let's say, glandular breast cancer, 
even if the healing phase takes longer, right? It is essential that the woman knows that this is not a malignant disease, that this is not going to uh, kill her. It just takes longer. Of course, it's, it's draining on the system, but it is the attitude and the understanding that this is a healing process. It's like we have a, a wound and we always, you know, uh, injure it or scratch against, oh my God, it's bleeding again. It's going to take three days longer. Okay? This is exactly the same thing. It just takes longer. But we, in, in this case, because we're talking biological conflicts and not an accident or anything, we have to work on it uh, on the emotional level to complete the healing. Okay, we're doing well. Okay, we learned now uh, the biological program of the breast glands. So let's look now at the lining of the milk ducts. Eh? We have learned Breast gland cancer controlled from the, from the cerebellum linked to a nest worry conflict. The lining of the milk ducts, ectodermal tissue uh, controlled from the cortex and a different tissue type, a different biological conflict and therefore a different type of breast cancer. Okay, so let's look at the conflict. The conflict that is linked to the lining of the milk ducts is, as Dr. Hammer calls it, a separation conflict. In this case, if that happens in nature, in this situation, uh, a female is not worried about an offspring. In this case, there was a separation from the offspring because the, the baby, the offspring, is, uh, is lost or was, had been killed. If this is the case, the, the, the lining of the milk ducts instantly starts to ulcerate, causing tissue loss. And the biological purpose of the ulceration in the milk ducts is to widen the ducts so that the milk that is no longer used can drain off easier, which prevents congestion of milk in the breast. We see again a very significant reason why there is tissue loss, just like, like we have learned with the cervix. And Dr. Hammer found that we women, or our breast, responds the same way if we experience, if we have a conflict that a child, our child, our mother, a partner, a uh, spouse, a sibling, a dear friend was torn from our breast. So the biological, psychological feeling behind this, I can no longer nurture you, I can no longer care for you, you're torn off my breast and the program runs its course. So how does it work? The moment the conflict occurs, the conflict impacts now in the area of the brain that controls the lining of the milk ducts and the program is switched on. And during the conflict active phase, as we already learned, there is ulceration, so tissue loss in the milk duct lining. During the conflict active phase, when that occurs, uh, yeah, a woman might not even notice it if it's more intense. She might uh, notice some pulling in the, pr in the breast. However, if the conflict active phase is very intense and lasts over a long time, this ulcerated area, because of the tissue loss, there's tissue loss in the lining, so the tissue might contract. Okay? It it's pulls together, it contracts, forming what is called serous knots. But conventional medicine diagnoses this as a cancer, although it's not even a tumor, although it's not even cell proliferation that is happening here. It is tissue loss, and the tissue pulls together, forming that knot. And the serous knots are treated, quote unquote, with mastectomy. So here's a, a, a screenshot from the from a website of the amputation of the cancer and serous breast. So we have to keep this in mind, what is happening here. And this is even more disturbing when we see what happens in the healing phase, when we see what happens when we allow the breast to heal. 